Hello everybody, myself Navya and we are presenting on our project topic Infant Incubator for the Rural Indian Clinics. So our team members are Kalimuddin, myself and uh, Fizba Koso. Next. So these are the contents which are included in our presentation. Next. An incubator is an apparatus used to maintain an environmental condition during uh, suitable for a neonates. Neonates in the sense first 28 days of a life. Okay, so infant incubator, which is used to provide a warm environment for the infants to keep their body temperature in the normal healthy range. So it's difficult for the government to allocate incubator to each and every hospitals in the rural areas because of its high uh, cost and also the transportability. So we are developing an incubator which will help our people in the rural areas to provide a facility at an affordable price. Again, there is no transportable issues too. Uh, the normal range of a uh, infant body temperature is around the 36.5 to 37.2 degrees Celsius. So when it falls below this level, it is termed as a hypothermia disease and it's an abnormal condition. So what happens in a hypothermia disease is that uh, whenever this occurs, then the cellular metabolism increases in a body. So this causes an increase in a respiration rate, which will lead to more and more oxygen consumption also. So what happens whenever the overconsumption of oxygen occurs in a body is it causes uh, to un other diseases too, like cardiac related problems. So there are 10 countries with the greatest number of a premature birth. So in India, it's around 3.5 lakhs every year. The development of an infant incubator started in 19, uh, sorry, 1890s, taking inspiration from the chicken incubators. It was then nearly uh, half of the infant mortality was reduced at this time. So they were using a hot bottles uh, that need to be replaced for every three hours. So several infants were able to be kept warm in this incubator. Next slide. So in eight, 1980s, incubators were used. Uh, were, uh, sorry, it were, you, they were made using a thermostats, which proved to be uh, expensive and later uh, went on developing like uh, till the automatic temperature control system. Here we are using uh, microcontrollers, okay? Uh, and uh, input to this microcontrollers, we are using uh, sensors. One is uh, uh, LM35 and DS183, uh, sorry, B20 and uh, DHT11 and FSR. FSR is a uh, four sensitive resistors. So both this DHT11 and uh, DS183, B20, both of these are controlled by the microcontroller to produce an output and uh, this output is displayed on a uh, LCD screen. We use a GSM2 here. Okay, and we use a uh, 7AH batteries, two batteries we use. One is for the microcontroller and other one is for the heating element. Next. Speaking about uh, objectives, uh, the hardware that is developed was able to provide a warm environment for the infants within a required range. And uh, to develop a portable prototype of an infant incubator that is suitable to be used in the rural areas. Uh, the infant that was born in the rural areas will uh, will be able to receive a primary care within the short period of, during the critical conditions and also to provide a low cost yet reliable incubator for the clinics in the rural areas and uh, other is other thing is to increase and to develop a medical facilities in the public sectors kalim start with me. Okay, so uh, the methodology uh, goes as uh, like this. So basically, uh, this is the flow chart, and uh, we are, what we are the first first uh, obviously the availability will be uh, first the availability will be checked. If the infant in, infant incubator is available, then the the data will be uploaded to the website, and first the temperature humidity monitor, for example. The temperature humidity monitor. If the temperature is higher than the than the turn on, the, the only the fans will turn on. If the temperature is low, then the heating element and the fan will turn on. Since uh, the as uh, one of my team members said that the temperature required is 37.36.5 degree to 37.225 degrees. So uh, that range has to be maintained. So uh, in uh, today's environment, not only the temperature will be heated, like uh, it will not only be hot or or cold but it will be a there will be a fluctuation of temperatures so we have to monitor that so the monitoring temperature uh, the the temperature will be monitored and the environment uh, will be, uh, the simultaneously the alerts will be sent to the doctor 
okay this is a block diagram of the like of the infant incubator what we are using we are using an arduino uh, arduino mega 2560 with uh, 24 uh, 24 cross uh, four lcd screen which will, where the results will be displayed where the output of the our project will be displayed the so for heating element we are using a uh, nichrome wire which will be the uh, and the, these are the sensors this lm35 uh, is the sensor and uh, dsp a18 p20 is a temperature sensor these both these are uh, temperature sensors this is just a temperature lm35 is just a sensor uh, temperature sensor ds18 uh, b20 is a body temperature sensor and force sensitive resistor uh, is the actual uh, activation key in our project so which will be uh, which will be shown in the demonstration later Okay, DS11 is the temperature and humidity sensor. So we are using uh, uh, batteries. Uh, for example, for demonstration, we can use only one battery. But if you are using for a long period of time, then we have to use two chloride batteries. Uh, there, there's a GSM module also, which uh, through which the SMSs will be sent to the doctor periodically after every five minutes. Uh, so motor driver. There, are, uh, actually, there is no need for a motor motor driver. But if we can use, you can we can use the motor driver also if we are using. a dc motor okay there are three fans one will be inside the heating el heating heating element box and the uh, two fans will be simultaneously placed on the surface of the infant incubator so the next uh, the component details as i said earlier uh, dh11 is the sensor or lm35 for sensitive resistor heating element we are using nichrome wire which has high resistance so the and uh, when the electricity is passed through that it gets heated up and we can use it as uh, th this is the similar principle which is used in blow dryers Okay, so say I GSM model is in ninety and uh, twenty four cross seven two three three or twelve volt fans. Okay, these are we are using. Uh, uh, we we chose uh, Arduino Arduino Mega two five six zero because uh, it is uh, it it has uh, like it has uh, more number of pins so that many uh, many sensors can be used and uh, like as I said, digital digital output pins are fifty four and analog input pins are. Uh, 16 so it is it was very feasible to use this one and it is it is easy to program also which are which is used in a wide range today okay so the results and discussion what is the result of the what is the what was the result of this the force sensor uh, as i told you acts as a switch and helps the battery <laughs> to save the battery because uh, whenever the infant is placed in the, inside the incubator then only it will be on uh, or else it will be turned off so the blow dry principle keeps the temperature fluctuation at ease because uh, whenever the temp temperature gets low uh, below the range below the or required range then the temperature uh, then the blow this is increased and whenever uh, the uh, like blow dry, blow dry whenever the temperature is decreased then the blow, then the heating element is uh, activated and then the temperature temperature is increase uh, and same vice and vice versa arduino mega 2560 keeps hold keeps holds everything keeps and holds uh, everything intact and the reprogramming is very very convenient in arduino uh, we are using arduino id so it is very easy it can it can be easily reprogrammed also so the gsm module keeps the doctor updated with the parameters uh, which helps him or her to monitor easily so fisba you can continue from here This is a society relevant for the infant incubator. Globally, four million deaths occur every year in the first month of every life. Most of the neonatal deaths, that is almost 99 percent, lies in the low-income and middle-income countries. According to a report of 2018, uh, India ranks at the 130th position or the 189 in the Human Development Index. In India, when compared to the urban-rural urban and rural difference in neonatal mortality, the rate is 50 percent higher in rural. and the mortality rate in the urban as per the national family health survey there is a graph of the uh, mortality rate of the different states of the india of the country the death rate is more in the northern uh, countries such as rajasthan and uh, up and it is very 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 low in the kerala next next Okay. Uh, in india in january 2020 alone around 109 children died due to the inadequate st staff and uh, equipment when compared to the other countries the condition of india is very very bad for example in canada the government finances health insurance and the private sector to take uh, care of the people uh, 
uh, the government of Britain not only finances uh, finances care but also provides it through national health services. A scheme by the government of India that is Rashtri Aarogya Nidhi provides financial assistance uh, to patients below the poverty line. Uh, there are certain conclusions. Uh, next. The conclusion at future scope, uh, this infant incubator is uh, easy to handle and is also portable. There is a decrease in the neonate deaths due to the inavailability of the incubators in rural areas. This should also encourage the public to avail all the facilities from the public sector. This also boosts the Indian economy by creating self sustain of technologies and making India self-reliant in the terms of technology. Next. Uh. This project is also been selected for the sponsorship by the Karnataka state government for under the program, uh, student project program for the 30, 43rd series. The commercialization of this project will be uh, set by Kalim. Okay, so commercialization of the project. So uh, as I uh, as we have been saying from the uh, from the first uh, from the beginning of the presentation that this uh, this uh, this, uh, this incubator was uh, developed only for the uh, public sector because uh, we and nowadays we don't uh, go for uh, uh, government hospitals and all due to lack of facilities and especially in the rural areas the the situation is much worse as we as we have seen in the societal relevance that. Uh, the, uh, in January 2020 itself, 109 uh, infants have, have have like died due to the in a, like inadequate uh, supply of uh, staff and facilities. So this prototype focuses on the implementation in the public so in the public sector. That's obvious. And the uh, the project is uh, competent with other commercial products. Like it is uh, the the other the basic features which which uh, the basic features which and uh, other incub infant incubators provide. This uh, this uh, prototype also provides the same. So if when we uh, and it's much cheaper than them. So all the basic function is, function is is present and plus it is cheap. The project can be of great help in the rural areas where people do not receive proper medical facilities. The project can still be improved. Like as I told you, this is a, this has a basic features or basic facilities. It has it has been achieved, but the, it can be still improved in terms of facilities and yet achieve low cost. If you if you see the project, then if you see the setup of the project, then the, the, the cost is much less or like very, very less than the other competent uh, incubators. But uh, if you increase few, uh, few uh, like if we increase a few facilities in this also, it, it won't cost us that much uh, like the other like the other like the other incubators which are available in the market. So this project can be improved in terms of facilities and yet achieve the low cost factor when implemented in mass production. So this uh, concludes our presentation. Thank you very much. So this is a this is an infant incubator for rural Indian clients we have designed. So uh, basically, this uh, is a this is a this is a prototype which works on a battery. So as you, you can see, the there are there are two. There's one more one fan over here and the other fan over here. Uh, this uh, is a force sensitive resistor and uh, the wire over there is uh, DSB18, uh, DS18B20 which is a body temperature sensor and DST11 that is uh, temperature and humidity sensor. So this whole system works on uh, the blow dry principle. So there is there's a fan over here and a fan over here and a fan in, the, in at the center of the box. So basically this is a matchbox kind of structure. Uh, this uh, there's a fan over uh, there's a f just a second okay so the this is a maximum matchbox kind of a structure it is packed for now so I have to explain it all from the above itself this is the force sensitive resistor as you can see the system is not on because nothing is placed on the force sensitive resistor when something is placed on that uh, for example the infant is placed over on, on this then the fan fans and the heating system will be activated the the whole the, there's a there's a fan over here at this uh, at the center of the incubator with the heating element in front of it so basically this is an exa exhaust fan used so the when the when the heating system is on and this rotates this uh, bring, brings the pushes the air inside and 
the the fan in the the fan in between pushes the air this side and this fan uh, brings out the heat heat uh, heated air outside the box so uh, there's a circulation over here and the this sensor is used for the body temperature sensor and uh, this is the temperature and humidity sensor so this whole system is uh, 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 the whole system is in a uh, matchbox kind of structure as you can see like this as you can see uh, there's a there's a there's a 12 volt battery i actually we we can use two batteries also for the heating element if you uh, if you if you want to use heating element for a longer time you have to use two batteries for example for this uh, just the demonstration i'm using a single battery uh, for example uh, now you can see that the temperature over here is 29 degrees centigrade and the humidity is uh, 82 degrees 82 percent and the body temperature is uh, no, there's no body temperature since there's nothing placed on the body temperature sensor so when so when i start when i start the system for example i'm going to keep okay when i place something on the uh, force sensitive resistor that is pressure is applied you can see the fans are running uh, the force sensitive resistor apply when the pressure is applied the, uh, the fans fans gets switched on and you can see so the circulation begins it it, it takes few seconds uh, it, when the system starts uh, it takes a few a few minutes uh, to take uh, to get heated up so we'll keep the in, we'll keep the cover uh, we'll keep the glass box on it as you can see uh, I have placed the uh, glass box upon it so that end the system is uh, the system is running the system is running and uh, it gets uh, after a few seconds as, as you can see uh, the temperature has increased uh, as since the it, it uh, since the minimum temperature required for the infant is 30, 32 36.5 degrees so it gets heated up in a few seconds a few it takes a few minutes so a one and 1.5 minute appro approximately to get heated up so you can see uh, the air the air is running from here the, the air is pushed from here this side and pulled out from this side so the temperature or whatever we can uh, the what temperature is in uh, the cycle uh, the cyclic system of the air is continued as you can see uh, after a few minutes then uh, there's increase in temperature that is the hot air is uh, in the end and the humidity drops because uh, there's uh, the, uh, the, the humidity is controlled so 36 days the temperature has increased now that you can say that heat air heat, circulation of the heated air is successful and there is also a water container over inside this uh, so that the equal uh, so that the humidity is maintained okay. so this is an infant incubator uh, working on the, and com this complete system is working on a battery so there's no 12 volt dc <laughs> dc source so it is portable and yet reliable and can be uh, used and this principle can be used to develop uh, more and more incubators thank you